Sonnet on publishing, everybody wants to get published who writes. The availability of everything when you're not in some civil war is rampant. Filling the bushels full, that is, the availability of cheap things that it takes to create. You have your mind, don't you? I don't have mine. And you can afford a pen, a brush, a spigot. Would you like to be published by Fawcett? Ball and Time? Wampum House? Prissy Hall? Signing and Suing? Belch Publishing Company? Faggot, Louse, and Screw? How about Barf? That's an old house. Or Squigglers and Sons? Don't forget happy and slow, they're the biggest. They're all waiting to suck up academic dust. A new display of writer orgasms offends them. They must make money off your remains. It's a giant cold shoulder to sob on. Don't waste your time, remove your mind. It takes willpower. It only tells you where to go. The road to hell is paved with good ambitions. Relax. Listen to a raga. Forget about it. Bake bread. Take a bath. Work will entail shoving creativity out of your mind just to survive the job. Go back to pre-art. Conversation and drink. Briefing for the day. Letting the dog out feeding the turkeys, cooking the chicken. How will I cook it? Let me count the ways. <laughs> now, as probably hardly any of you know, there is a major movement in poetry these days called Language poetry. <laughs> now everybody who hears that for the first time thinks it's a misnomer. That's not the only thing that is a misnomer. This is called on. I am a language poet. Tomorrow is tumor is today, with bunions in my belief and corns in my word basket. Cancer of anonymous letters and drivel of thinking unthinking. Turn the switch on, I'll rattle my tongue. Spit out the cysts of syntactical moment, stinies of my personal twist, it has my name on it. I'm the holy roller rondel of now. Speaking in tongues gets published. Turn the switch on as long as you like. Turn the switch off when you go to bed at night. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have to report that one of the language poets died. This is on the death of Charlie Horse, the language poet. Charlie Horse never laughed because he hurt too much. His hemorrhoids were bloated beyond disfigurement. <laughs> they were bigger than the Oxford English Dictionary and the persona of Pound. Charlie Horse hurt. The ABCs were so straight he had to move them around. He rearranged them to read the chaos of immediate need. Charlie Horse hurt so much he couldn't laugh. He wrote so much he couldn't think. He read so much he couldn't sleep. He talked so much he couldn't drink. Charlie Horse, the language poet, hurt so much he couldn't laugh. With piles on piles on piles on piles, you'll find his ass went to his head. And it got so big, it pooped. <laughs> he was found dead, buried in alphabet soup. Thank <laughs> you.